Hello, this is I'm from Tushef. In this video, I'm going to show you how to export a USD cache from a level. So, in this scene, I have this simulation with some uh, agents running around on a, a nav mesh. So, imagine you have a simulation that you want to export to SD to you know, move to another software. So, first thing, we need to create a new anim sequence. Sorry, sorry, a new level sequence. Uh, so let's call the multi sequence. Now I need to <clears throat> put here all the agent group that I want to export in the same USD cache. And then, so you can drag and drop all the agent group that you want. Then I need to create for every agent group the static frame track. And then I need to put some keyframes. So keyframe here, zero, and then a keyframe here, for example, if I want to export only 150 frames, I put another keyframe that fix the um, the tangents. So let's select all and switch to linear. And then I need to go on the agent group and the section I need to turn on there is that frame. So this option, what does this option is basically instead to take the time from the from the level, uh, the agent group take the input time from the sequence. In this way, it guarantee that export every frame a specific time. Okay, so now we have the sequencer. That's done. We need to open the USD cache exporter. We need to set our sequence. We need to choose our export path. And then we can just, let's write for example in USDA, but you can use normal USD or USDC if you want. So let us save. Uh, let's have a look to the parameter. Uh, Okay, so we have the cache start frame and start steam frame. So for example, if you don't want that start to caching uh, your agent group from the beginning, for example, if you want to start the cache from frame 10 instead to zero, you can put 10. In this way, the cache on this will be from frame 10 to frame, in this case, 150. Uh, the start seam is to reset the agent group. So it's basically the atoms uh, uh, start simulation time. And in this case is zero because I want to start from zero. Uh, and then the text resolution. Uh, since we are exporting USD, basically this tool uh, try to export, but, sorry, this tool export the mesh um, uh, in other USD file because the main file contains only just animation that is a reference, is a referencing uh, the mesh exported to uh, other files, skeleton, and, and also materials. And the material exported, basically baking some of the channel, like the diffuse, specular, uh, reflection, and bake it, and to bake that, that texture using this resolution. Uh, I'll explain in a bit the asset, but let's export first this cache. Okay, now it's baking. Okay, now, now just finish the last thing. Okay, the cache is ready. Uh, let's now check in Udini. So I loaded the, the cache in uh, Udini. As you can see, I have the simulation there. The, the spike here, the skeleton, they can just hide. Let's set this assembly. And uh, this one is just a uh, skeleton. Obviously, you see some of the material exported better and some other now because 
you try to uh, bake simple material, but if your material is too complex, uh, the, the tool is not able to bake correctly the, the material. But for the mesh, it exports all, if you have variation, you export variation as a setup and you export also the load. So you can choose, for example, switch to another load. It also exports more targets if you have set up correctly on the SCATAR mesh and then on the agent simulation. Let's have a look what generates on disk. So uh, on disk, you generate the, the main file that contains animation. So you have all each agent file that then is referencing basically the agent type that contains also all the variation from other disk. Sorry, from, from the disk, from another file. It, it exports all the metadata and so on. Let's have a look to the other file. And then you see there is this assets folder. So this asset folder basically contains variation. If you have uh, Atom's variation set up there, or the agent type contains the skeleton. That basically is the, it exports the use skeleton. And that contains basically the hierarchy of the agents. It export the main scheme, uh, the main skeletal mesh, and then it export uh, all the materials that you find with, the, with all the text too that is able to export. And then basically this file reference all the skeleton and skin and all the materials. If have a look, also it contain variation if have variation. You can see reference to the skeleton and then the, the scheme. So uh, now if we turn back, go back to the um, to the real. So there is the last uh, attribute here, the asset path. So you can basically, you can set up here, instead to export every time uh, all the mesh in scale and so on, you can reference here uh, the assets folder that I show you here. Basically, you can reference this folder, and in this way, it just export the material and then referencing all the assets from that folder. So, thank you for watching, and uh, see you in the next video.